How's it going guys? Ryan with Dragonspire Gaming here, back again with another video. This time we're going to be taking a look at The Council. This is a game that just recently hit Steam. Uh, and it's going to be kind of a narrative adventure type story, but one where choices matter. A bit like we've seen in The Life is Strange and a few others. But this one is supposedly takes that system and takes it even more in depth. Uh, I love games like this because the replayability factor is really high. So uh, let's just hop into it and see what this one has to offer. France, Paris, 19 1792. You're not getting anywhere with this von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh, that's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Ah! Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational. And open. I got it. I've opened the shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Borchardt. Von Borchardt. Hmm? Listen, let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Let's see, should we act now and try and be the hero? Or should we trust our dear old mother? Uh, we'll trust her. Please, be my guest, mother. Pull the trigger. Yeah. Of course she Dunkley. didn't act. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, Mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. 
Come on, let's go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchert. One month later. Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Bob Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer? And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost mystical object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Hall, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you good, sir. What brings you here? Let's see, personal reason or business with Lord Mortimer? Mm, I think I'm going to remain a little bit more enigmatic on this playthrough. And since everybody else is saying business with Lord Mortimer, let's just join the crowd. Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. <laughs> you get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island, and only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Let's see. Mm, let's divert a little bit. I don't like how, how proby this guy's being. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Are you all right? Mother? Oh, 
shit, your hand. So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah, no one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to no, do. No, Mother, don't, don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There's no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. No, Sarah. Don't. No. No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay for it. You. Uh, Louis, are you all right? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't Why don't you just go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sure, yes. Fine. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, Mother. Okay, and we're in. So I really like where this story is going so far. And the aesthetic is pretty good, too. That being said, I feel like they could have gone with a better voice actor for the main character. Like, maybe it's just me, but oftentimes it seems like his voice just doesn't really match up. Like, I feel like the other voice actors are actually better than the main character, Louis, which is weird. Trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Oh, we get to choose class. All right, let's see. We got Diplomat. Politics, etiquette, linguistics, conviction, and diversion. Occultist is manipulation, occultism, tradition, science, and subterfuge. So, kind of a spy. Then we got detective. Questioning, vigilant, psychology, agility, and, log and logic. Hmm. Let's see. Choosing a class defines your basic skills. The other skills will still be available, but unlocking them will be more expensive. I say let's go with Occultist for this run. Let's see. Which one should we do? Level 1 Manipulation? Okay. Uh, dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun, let's see. Science... Benefit from a sound cultural background in the arts, geography, and history. Discreetly steal items, pick locks, notice falsifications. <laughs> yes, please. Occultism. Rely on your knowledge of myths and occult and religious symbols as well as ancient languages and secret societies. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's leave it like that. Just do a little bit all over the place. I have been involved in all sorts of unsolved cases. Have you ever heard of the Abbey of Hexham? Uh, vaguely. An ingenious scam involving mass manipulation on a scale never seen before. Hmm. There was a cavern under the Abbey, wasn't there? Exactly. The wind would blow in through spouts, creating a, a terrifying howling sound. So. To stop the howling, the priests called for offerings from the peasants. And if they brought enough money, I'm guessing the priests stopped the howling. A perfect trick to fool simple souls. Admit it, Duchess. 
That story kept you in suspense, didn't it? Yes, it did. I'm delighted to find out that you were the young and brilliant French investigator. For someone who only remembers the case vaguely, your memories are very clear. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Let's see. Not at all so lie to her, or not at all sorry. Uh, she might have some valuable information. She's obviously connected with Mother, so let's lie to her. How could I forget a woman such as yourself? A woman such as me? What a sweet talker you are. Remind me of how we met? Okay, your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost of... It. The lower the cost is in effort points. Okay. Pretend to be hurt by her not believing you. Difficulty one, manipulation level one. Gotcha. Oh, it hurts me that you could doubt my sincerity. I thought we'd gotten over that stage by now. Don't take it like that, Louis. I was only joking. I thought you were making fun of me. I thought you were someone I could trust. I'm hurt to see that you're still at the stage of testing me. Duchess. Listen, Louis, I am sorry. I really didn't want to hurt you. Forget what I just said. It was clumsy of me. If you say so. <laughs> That's right. That, then. Didn't see me, didn't know me. Push any harder and I'll make a fool of myself. Right, time to go to the manor. Opportunities. Your skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select an object that is most suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Let's see. Oh, there we go. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Immunity revealed, vulnerability unveiled. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Talents. You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlock conditions and effects as they offer very interesting improvements. Sir, may I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you, we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Let's see. What do you know about my mother? Where is Lord Mortimer? I don't need to talk to you, peasant. Give me your boss. I have an appointment with Lord Mortimer. Would you be so kind as to lead me to him? Unfortunately, sir, I cannot. I don't know exactly where my master is. But rest assured, sir, everyone is waiting for you at the manor. Sir Holm insists on welcoming you in person. Since your mother went missing, everyone has been concerned about finding her. Who is Sir Holm? A close friend of Lord Mortimer's. Please, rest assured, sir, it won't take us long to find your revered mother. Indeed. We are searching the caves again, because lights were seen at the wharf just last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. Ah, oh, we can't do that one. Dang. Did anyone see anything else? Unfortunately not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep, and no one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother, 
She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Uh, let's do... This Pass one. me the handkerchief. But, but, sir, my orders were to give it to my master. Are you refusing to give me my own mother's personal belongings? Even though she was greatly looking forward to meeting your master, she's gone missing. And you seem incapable of finding her. Oh, but sir, please. And to top it all off, you refuse to give me the handkerchief that she so often let me use? Do I deserve such little consideration in your eyes? Is that what you wish me to report to your master? No, certainly not, sir. Please forgive me, sir. I have been such an idiot. Here you are. That's right, sucker. It is indeed your handkerchief, mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? Alright, guys. This seems like as good of uh, a spot as any to end it. So that gives you a little bit of a taste of what the council has to offer. Uh, it seems like it's going to be a blast, actually. Uh, and I look forward to shooting other episodes of with this game. Uh, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and leave a like. Uh, and I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel and help support us so we can keep making quality content for you guys. And we'll see you in the next episode. I'm out.